Master mode, air to ground. To open the menu page, press OSB1. Fire control radar or FCR ground submodes are listed on the right. The three submodes available are ground map, ground map target, and C. GM is the primary submode and is used to find stationary targets, while GMT is used to find moving targets. C mode behaves like GM, but the radar is optimized to find ships. The radar maps the terrain and presents the return using a B scope display. In the primary air to ground radar modes, the beam is centered on the active steer point. As the aircraft approaches the steer point, the radar antenna is tilted to center the beam. The radar is optimized to search for targets close to the steer point. Receiver gain can be adjusted in ground map modes. Set initial gain to 50% with the gain rocker switch. The manual range on cage knob can also be used to adjust gain. Adjusting gain can be used to adjust the detail of the radar return as required. If bullseye is mode selected, own ship bullseye position bearing and range is displayed. Cursor bearing and range relative to bullseye is also shown. To toggle mode select bullseye, Press ICP list, ICP0 to open the miscellaneous page, and to open the bullseye page, press ICP8. Move the scratch pad to the top line and press ICP0 to mode select. If bullseye is not mode selected, the aircraft reference symbol is shown and cursor bearing and range relative to the active steer point is displayed. Own ship range is not shown when greater than 99 nautical miles. The time to the sensor point of interest or SPI is displayed in minutes and seconds. Note that bullseye uses steer point 25 by default. When range switching is set to auto, cursor position adjusts range. When using the manual setting, range can only be adjusted with OSB19 and OSB20. Range switching is available in GM, GMT and C submodes and expanded DBS1 and DBS2 field of view settings. Field of view has four levels, normal, expanded, Doppler beam sharpening 1 and Doppler beam sharpening too. Expanded mode expands the radar display around the cursor and centers it. DBS1 provides more detail than expanded mode at the same magnification. DBS2 provides the highest level of magnification. DBS1 and DBS2 are only available in the GM submode. When the FCR is sensor of interest or SOI, the stick pinky switch cycles field of view or FOV settings. When OSB4 is pressed, the radar reverts to standby mode, reducing electromagnetic emissions from the aircraft. Press OSB4 again to resume radar operation. None of the control options are currently enabled in BMS for the air-to-ground FCR. Barometric is not implemented in BMS. When OSB7 is pressed, the FCR display is frozen. The freeze mnemonic is highlighted when freeze mode is active. The coordinates of the ground stabilized point and the bearing and range to the active steer point are displayed. Freeze mode can be used to simplify zooming in and locking a target. Press OSB7 again or change FOV to exit freeze mode. In snowplow mode, the FCR scans directly ahead of the aircraft, rather than using a steer point as reference. To enter snowplow mode, press OSB8. Snowplow mode is not ground stabilized until TMS up is pressed. The FCR then becomes sensor of interest or SOI, 
and the point under the cursor effectively becomes the active steer point, with all navigation and weapon steering delivery referencing it. When the FCR is set as soy, the cursor can then be slewed. To revert to steer point mode, press OSB8 again. Slewing the cursor effectively slews the active steer point by adding system deltas. To remove the deltas, press OSB9. Return to the original navigation solution with TMS down, cursor 0 and wide field of view. SPI will then return to the active steer point position. Five sighting options are available. Steer point and target direct aim point, offset aim point, visual initial point, visual reference point and snowplow. In steer point and target direct aim point sighting, all sensors are pointed at the selected steer point. A steer point can have up to two offset aim points or OAs. An offset is defined with a bearing, range and altitude from the steer point. If an offset point is set, sensors are pointed at the offset, with the steer point defining the target location. Using an offset with a significant radar return, weapons may be delivered against the target which has a poor radar return. To select an away, press ICP list, ICP1 to select the destination page, Select the desired steer point with the ICP rocker switch and use data control switch or DCS right to step through OA1 and OA2. Set bearing in degrees and distance in feet to the steer point. Note that one nautical mile equals 6,076 feet. The OA symbol is a triangle. Offset aim points persist through master mode and steer point changes. Note that OAs are not correctly implemented in BMS at this time. The FCR defines the OA as the target rather than as a reference to the target. Therefore OAs should only be used as a visual reference and the rotary should not be set to OA. Visual initial point or VIP can be used to reference an unknown target position from a steer point. Bearing, range and elevation can be entered while airborne to define the target. When using VIP, steering cues to the IP are provided through the horizontal situation indicator or HSI and an azimuth steering line on the hood provides steering information to the target. To select the VIP page, press ICP list and ICP3. Select the desired steer point with the ICP rocker switch and enter the required offset from the steer point. To mode select VIP, move the scratch pad to the top line with the DCS and press ICP0. To define a pull up point or PUP, press DCS right. Bearing and range is relative to the VIP, not the steer point. The VIP is the steer point and the steer point is the target. The PUP is indicated with a circle. VIPs are also not correctly implemented in BMS. PUP bearing and range are not placed relative to the VIP. Visual reference point or VRP is used to place a reference point on the hood with bearing and range to the target. This allows the use of a VRP to initiate an attack. The steer point defines the target, and the VRP is a bearing and range to it. To select the VRP page, press ICP list and ICP9.
select the desired steer point with the ICP rocker switch and enter the required offset from the steer point. To mode select VRP, move the scratch pad to the top line with the DCS and press ICP0. To define a pull up point or PUP, press DCS right. Bearing and range is relative to the steer point. The VRP is offset from the steer point. The steer point continues to be the target. OAs may be used simultaneously with either VIP or VRP sighting. To select the sighting option, press OSB 10. TMS right can also be used to change the sighting point rotary selection if the hood or FCR is soy when in air to ground mode. It's important to note that because of issues with their implementation in BMS, care should be taken when using sighting options. Radar azimuth can be set to 120, 60 or 20 degrees. The smaller the area the radar has to scan, the faster it can update. Options are 6, 2 and 1. The numbers are single digit representations of one half of the scan ranges. To set radar azimuth, cycle the settings with OSB 17. Azimuth scale and antenna current position is shown on the bottom of the display. Range can be set between 10 and 80 nautical miles. Optimal range is under 20 miles. To adjust range, press OSB 19 and OSB 20. Quarter, half and three quarter range cues are displayed on the right. 